All right. So we're going to start seated today. I've only taught a couple of the 30 minute classes, so <clears throat> we'll see how good I am at keeping up with the uh, 30 minute time. Right. Closing the eyes if that's comfortable, if it's not gazing down at the floor. I'm just beginning to slow the breath down a bit. So kind of to settle into the energy of the breath, uh, we're gonna bring the awareness to the tailbone. As you inhale, you can imagine taking the energy in the breath up from the tailbone through the spine all the way to the top of the head. And then as you exhale, we're gonna keep the top of the head lifted, but then imagine that the air and the energy are moving back down the body until you arrive all the way back down at that tailbone. So there's this sensation of lift and lightness as you inhale up the body. And then the sensation of coming kind of back inward and downward as you breathe out and come back down to the tailbone. See if you can slow the breath down a bit. So it's a really nice, long, kind of easy breath in and up, and then a long, slow, easy breath down back to the tailbone. We're going to add our movement here with the inhale and the exhale. So as you're inhaling and you're imagining taking that breath from the tailbone all the way up, we're going to take the arms out and up overhead. And then as you begin the exhale, the arms come back down and they come all the way down at the point where you finish that exhale and tap the floor. Turn the palms as you inhale. When you get to the top of the inhale, tap the fingertips together. And then turn the palms out as you exhale, going all the way back down, tapping the floor at the end of the exhale. Then we're going to make the breath just a little bit shorter for both the inhale and the exhale. Keep the arms moving with the breath. Just a couple more of those. And then back to the easy, slow movement and slow breath. Just a couple more. And then we'll let go of the breathing. Just give those shoulders a roll in both directions. And then we'll settle into table pose.
So we're gonna start off with cat-cow. It's really easy, slow, fluid movements here. And so you wanna see if you can get that movement to be the same length as the breath. And then we're gonna make the breath just a little bit faster. So the movement is a little bit faster. And if you're comfortable going a little bit faster, And then maybe just a little bit faster. If not, stick with what you're doing. And then back to the slow, easy movement. I'm gonna pause with the back, headed up towards the ceiling come up onto the fingertips, press the back way up, stretch it out. And then we're gonna tuck the toes under. So we're gonna move from this position. If it doesn't work out for you, just bring the, the hands down and untuck the toes, okay? So inhale is here. And then we're gonna exhale, keep the background, reach back towards those heels. So you're gonna sit back and then come up. Take that back way up high and then exhale, come on back. Keep moving, coming up as you inhale, back as you exhale. And then next time you come to that sitting back position, we're gonna pause there. Maybe stretch those fingers a little bit farther away so you get the arms a little longer. And then head on back to table pose. We're gonna bring the right leg up. Let's get a little bit of movement in the toes and the ankle. Maybe the knee could be even into the hip. Just starting to get some synovial fluid moving in those joints. And then we'll start with just the legs. So extend, we're gonna inhale, lift up, exhale, bring the knee in towards the chest and then take it back up. Inhale is back and exhale is coming forward and rounding the back. We're gonna pause with the knee in and see if you can take the opposite arm up. Leg comes back out straight. And we're gonna add movement with both. So inhale up, exhale, knee and elbow come in. And then come back out and back in. Couple more. And the next time you're in, knee and elbow in, pause, breathe. Release it all the way back out, both the arm and leg extend. And hand comes down, knee comes down. Take the left leg up, wiggle those toes, get into the ankle, the knee, the hip. And then we'll extend and come to the movement, inhaling up, exhaling, coming in, back out and in. Couple more, and then we'll hold that knee in. And then bring the opposite arm up.
extend both and we'll do the movement inhale lift and then come on in Oop, going over <laughs> Two more, and then we'll hold in. Take it all out. And everything comes back to the floor. I'm gonna head up into downward facing dog. Just take a moment or two here. If you need to stretch or move. And then we'll take it forward, standing forward bend. When you're ready, come to flat back and then back down to forward bend and we'll head all the way up to standing. All right, so we're going to do a flow through, inhale up, exhale forward, inhale halfway, hands come down, take your right foot back, pivot your right heel down, come up and around, warrior two, reverse warrior, warrior two, extended side angle, warrior two, reverse, warrior, extend, warrior, a few more of those. And then the one that feels right for you. So it could be the reverse position or it could be extended side angle. Come on back through to warrior and then pivot those hands down. I'm gonna step the back foot forward. Come to halfway. Come back down and then all the way up. Hands to the heart. Inhale it up. Come on back down. Halfway. Hands come down. Step the left foot back. Pivot the left heel down, up and around. Warrior two. Moving between reverse warrior, warrior, and extended side angle. Maybe one or two more, and then you need to pause in the same place you paused on the other side, just for consistency. Make your way back through to warrior two, bring the hands down and around, step the back foot forward. Once you get there, take a breath or two, and then we'll come flat back, forward bend, and all the way up. Inhale it up, exhale it forward, halfway. Hands come down, we're gonna step one foot back, then the other, plank pose. And we'll move between plank and down dog. So inhale up into down dog, exhale forward into plank, down dog and plank. Next time you're in down dog, you're gonna pause there. You're gonna take the right leg up. If this doesn't work for you, then go back to plank to down dog. So we're gonna try three-legged planked and three-legged dog. So as you inhale, you're gonna roll it forward into three-legged plank and then come up. If it doesn't work, bring your foot down. Two more. Pause back in three-legged dog. That foot comes down. Heading to the other side. Moving between three-legged plank and three-legged dog or plank and dog.
Just a couple more. Ending in three-legged dog. That foot comes down. Step or hop it forward. I'm gonna pause here. Ragdoll if it's in your practice. Let those arms and neck hang. And we're gonna bring a little bit of movement here. So it could be whatever feels good. It could be taking shoulders to opposite corners or maybe moving the arms, shaking the head or shifting side to side. Inhale, come to flat back. Exhale, come on down. Inhale it all the way up. Hands come to the heart. One more flow. Inhale it up. Exhale it down. Inhale halfway. Exhale, hands come down. Bend those knees. Hands come up so they're facing each other. Arms are framing the ears. All the way up into chair pose. Hands come to the heart. We're coming into a twist to the right so you can stay upright or you can bring that elbow down to the opposite knee or thigh. Come on back to center and over to the other side. Come on back to center. Now we're gonna alternate. So moving from side to side. So inhale is center, exhale is coming over. Inhale back up, exhale to the other side. Center, over, center, over. We'll do a couple more of those. Pause back with the hands at the heart, straighten the legs. Bend the knees, take one foot back, bend the other. Plank pose. We're gonna lower it down to the belly, either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Moving cobras, inhaling up and exhaling down. Lower it all the way down, bring the arms out in front of you along the floor. So you're gonna tighten up the glutes, tighten up the legs, lift the head and chest. See if you can bring the arms up. You're gonna do this kind of fluid motion, inhale it all the way around so they come to the sides of the body, then exhale it all the way forward again. If this isn't working for you, you can just bring the head down and slide them around on the floor. <laughs> Couple more. Next time you're forward, see if you can stay and breathe. Call this a Superman pose in the kids class. And release all the way down to the floor. Take care of the back, do what you need to do. You can make a pillow out of those arms and rest the forehead. You can bring the cheek to the floor, shift the hips or shift the feet. And hands come underneath the shoulders. We're gonna push in, come up to sit. So we're gonna do uh, movement coming up and down in forward bend. So you can really kind of have the legs wherever it's comfortable for you. So you could be cross-legged, the legs could be extended, you could be, be wide-legged, whatever works for you. Baddha Konasana. So your inhale is the lift and then your exhale is coming forward.
So we don't often um, have kind of dynamic movement when we're coming into forward bends. Often we just you know, kind of stop and stay. So we're gonna do this for maybe three or four more breaths and then we're gonna stop and stay. Just a few more breaths here. And when you're ready, come on up. I'm gonna bring the feet out in front of you, knees pointing up, lean back a bit so we can take those knees side to side. And then pause and take the feet out a little bit farther towards the edges of your mat. You know, windshield wipe again here. And then pause with the knees headed over to the right. I'm gonna shift that other, so the left knee, so it kind of comes behind the heel of that front foot. This is called deer pose and yin. You can stay upright here, or you can start to walk the hands back a little bit and then open the chest. And then if you wanna look out over the left shoulder, you can do that. Otherwise just stay neutral. Couple more breaths there. And if you turn the head, you're gonna bring that back first. If you walk the hands back, you're gonna come upright and then come on over other side. Settle in there. And this time you're gonna look over the right shoulder if you looked out over the other one. Head comes back, walk back in here, and come on back up. We're gonna head down to the back. When you get there, take a big stretch out. We haven't done a lot of lengthening yet. So we'll lengthen out. All right. So we're gonna keep the length, take the arms up overhead if they're not. We're gonna bring the right leg up and the left arm up and see if you can tap your hand to your leg and then lower both back down to the floor. Lift the opposite up, come down. So the arm and leg are, the opposite arm and leg are coming up. Couple more. And then we'll end back in that big stretch. Arms come down along the sides. You bring the feet to the floor with the knees pointing up. You do about four or five lifting and lowering in bridge pose and then hold for a few breaths. When you're finished, we'll lower it down and take some time to do anything you have left in your practice before you settle into Shavasana.
there might be a posture that you feel like you need to do or a movement. Do whatever it is you need to and then make your way into that space of quiet and rest for just a couple of minutes. Maybe as you settle here for another minute or two, you come back to that sensation of the breath, that sense of being lighter and filling up, expansiveness as you inhale, and the sense of coming inward and downward as you exhale, and you settle deeper into your mat. Just a few more long, slow breaths here. And then beginning to come back to the body, making your way back towards seated as you're ready. When you do arrive back at seated, bring the hands together at the heart, bowing forward. Shanti, 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 peace. May there be peace in your hearts. May there be peace in your lives. And may there be peace in this world. Gently rising up. Namaste. Namaste. Hmm. That goes so incredibly fast. <laughs> <laughs>